So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted into superstardom, former UFC featherweight champion, UFC lightweight champion, the only simultaneous two-division champion, and has become the biggest superstar mixed martial arts has ever seen in UFC history. Conor McGregor is one of the most creative and dynamic fighters in the UFC's featherweight division. He is also one of the most loved fighters to ever come out of Ireland. So here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Lee. I'm a Bruce. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's gonna be comfortable in all areas of the game. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Potter McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go down right now. All right, we are underway here at the famed Madison Square Garden right in New York City. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, he caught him with an uppercut. Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight are the counter shots of Conor McGregor. That one hurt. He missed that kick. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Oh! Oh, he hurt him. Hard straight punch. Setting up 
setting that fight of the night pace. He's hook shot. Whoa! Wow! This could be it. Some serious power in that kick, but misses. Didn't quite connect. And the kick lands. Nice punch there by McGregor. Check that one. Nice one, two there. a big hook to the head, but misses. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Big he body shot! shot. To the body. Back to the feet! Just missed with the huge kick. Lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. How about that shin? Oh, big shots there. Using his jab effectively here, it's an underutilized weapon by a lot of fighters, not this guy. McGregor gets tagged with that hook, Joe. Oh! Oh, massive kick to the body. Oh, oh. He got hurt very, very badly. Trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be solid. Oh! He's out! He's That's out! It. Something. Wicked knockout here for the win. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And here's the end. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Great angle here. Boom! Right on the button. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round. He's playing the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! So the notorious Conor McGregor gets it done yet again. There is no doubt his future is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is inside this octagon and still getting the job done. Dealt this man at your own peril. It seems no matter the challenge, Conor McGregor finds a way to get the job done, and he did so again tonight. Congratulations to SPG Ireland and the notorious Conor McGregor.